Hi everybody, I'm the African Witch Bitch. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I have been prompted by the ancestors to uh, do something. This is unprecedented, unprecedented. And um, I'm about to be full disclosure and naked in front of y'all. And I'm not talking about taking my clothes off. No, bitch, get your mind out the gutter. I'm talking about just explaining to you guys why I do what I do and why I say what I say. And I have explained to you guys several times about the importance of shadow work and building a relationship with your ancestors. So now I need to expound on that by telling um, some personal information about myself and why I say this. Why I feel that it's very important for you guys to use that as your foundation of practice. Um, okay, so the analogy I'm going to start off with is this. I don't know how long this goddamn video is going to be. I don't know. I'm stuck in traffic, a bitch irritated, but the ancestors say do it and I have to obey spirit. So get this. <sighs> uh, gosh, it's going to be hard, but it's all right. I got this. Okay. So, for all of you who know, I am a, um, a practitioner of hoodoo, which is under the umbrella of African spirituality. And one of the cornerstones of our practice is building a relationship with your ancestors. That is why we do what we do. That is why, uh, that right there is because those spirits and those deities and the Orishas and the Wusums and the Netters and, and the uh, Loas and whatever you want to call them, um, spirit basically is the um, encompass name that we use to encompass all of that, the universe, spirit, whatever, those are going to be the people that move shit in this realm from the ancestor realm, you know, from the spiritual realm to make whatever it is you need to pop, whatever it is you, um, not just need, not like you always have your hand out type shit, but they make our lives that much better. They look out for us, etc. But here's something y'all need to understand. And I have said this before, but I'm going to go ahead and expound on it. It's the importance of shadow work. I get a lot of emails, I get a lot of DMs, I get a lot of um, people sending me messages telling me that they did a spell, it didn't work, what happened? And the first thing I want to think about is, okay, how long have you been practicing? Have you set your foundation of building a relationship with your ancestors? Have you done your shadow work? These are what I call microwave witch bitches. And I'm not using that term to insult any goddamn body. And when I use the um, analogy microwave, I mean like if you get a bag of microwave popcorn and you put that shit inside the microwave and it uh you push a minute 30 seconds and it pop you open up the microwave grab your popcorn shake it up a bit and walk away half the time people be so goddamn trifling they don't even close the microwave door and that shit senses the hell out of me but that's beside the point you go that they that's what they want they want to do a spell they want it to pop immediately they want to walk away they don't even give any consideration for the um deities that moved they don't give a thank you ever and then they get pissed off when nothing works. That is a microwave witch. They've been practicing for five minutes and they automatically got their hands out wanting shit. Okay? Here's the thing. One of the major things that you're going to have to learn how to do, which is not going to be comfortable, which is not going to be easy, which is not going to be um, painless, is shadow work. Anytime you are dealing with growth, and you're moving out of this shell into the next or you're growing, it's not going to feel good. Growth isn't comfortable. Growth isn't easy and growth isn't painless. Growth is you digging inside yourself, finding out what type of past traumas you might have, what type of uh, pain you might have that's unaddressed, what type of issues you might have that's unaddressed, and you dealing with that shit head fucking on, full speed ahead to get to the root core problem of why you have the issues that you have. An example, let me give you an example. You you are a new practitioner in Hoodoo. You've only been practicing for about a month or two. And you want to, the first thing you want to do is do a spell to make dude over here love you. And, and that's what you want and you want it now. And now you done constructed a honey jar and you done done a penis candle and you done done all kind of shit to make this motherfucker love you or a binding spell, whatever type of fuck shit people be doing out here in these YouTube uh, witchy streets. So you come to me because you did the spell and nothing's working. Well, bitch, why do you want him to love you? I understand you might like the dude or whatever, but is it because you have daddy issues? Because anybody who's worth their uh, weight and self-esteem know that uh, you just have to be yourself. And if the dude like you or, or if the girl like you, she do. And if she don't, she don't. 
you know, but a lot of people have a lot of daddy issues and they don't want to do the shadow work. They don't even want to hear it talking about how to address that. So let me give you some background about the witch bitch. Anybody who know me and there's people who's watching this video who remember me when I was a kid, when I was uh, a teenager, when I was in my early 20s, I was ugly as fuck. Now, I know you looking at me right now like, no, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm cute, right? Well, at least I think so. I mean, some people watching this may or may not agree. But back then, I wasn't. I was extremely fat. Um, like, at my heaviest, I think I was 330 pounds at my heaviest. Now, I'm six feet tall, 100 and... No, no, Corona, sorry. Six foot tall, 207 pounds. But, um... It wasn't the weight that made me ugly. It was the way I carried myself because I had extreme low self-esteem. From the time I was born, I, I was told how ugly I was. And this wasn't, this wasn't, um, I wasn't told this by um, strangers only. I was told this by strangers and family members from both sides of my family. Um, I have, my parents had, my parents were married for 39 years until my dad passed away. So I grew up in a household with both parents. And I, I have another sibling who is a year younger than me, who we look night and day different in school, and everybody let me uh, know it. People would ask me, do y'all have the same parents? I'll never forget this shit. And I, I would say, yeah. And they said, then why you look like that and she looked like that? that that's then People were fucked up towards me. There is family members that bought... Um, her presents and clothes and gifts and never bought me shit because they always talked about well I can't find your size I don't care and you're ugly there was friends who would pick us up because we're close in age and I was told to sit in the back because I was too ugly to ride in the front seat I'm not I bullshit you not people were fucked up and that shit fucked with my self esteem for a long time well into my 20s and I didn't learn to love me until I was in my late 20s early 30s so I carried around that bullshit and that affected my romantic relationships it affected my friendships but it wasn't until I got elbows deep in me doing shadow work and learning why do I feel this way and why do I feel that way and why do I feel well let me tell you something boo boo once you get good and elbows deep in doing shadow work, and, and your situation may not be my situation. You might have some other shit going on, and that's fine. But shadow work, the beauty of it is it, you get to the root cause, like digging weeds out of a garden, and you pluck that shit out. You see what it is, you throw it away, and you address that wound. That's shadow work. And then you'll realize once you boss the fuck up in your shadow work, the whole concept of the way you view your spiritual work will be completely different. Then you'll look and be like, damn, I guess I don't need no love spell for this motherfucker. He don't want me. Okay, it's cool. Moving on. It's not, he's not wrong and I'm not wrong. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of hurt people out here doing work without no just cause. And they can end up fucking themselves up and fucking up other people. But the reason why they're out here doing it and they don't know what the fuck they're doing is because they never put time in to build a relationship and a rapport with the ancestors and to do the work to uncover trauma and hurt and pain that's inside them. Now, it took me a while before I even attempted to ask for anything because I had to put the work in and address um, shit that was going on with me. And I'm just giving you guys a full disclosure. This is why I stress so much about self-esteem, self-love, self-growth, shadow work. Because once you get good and in, in, in a routine of loving you, once you get good and in a routine of loving you and building a relationship with your ancestors, the world is your fucking oyster. Don't believe me? Ask any practitioner who spent time doing work before they had they fucking hand out begging and shit from the ancestors ask anybody who spent a season doing shadow work shit will pop but you have to do the work and you have to put it in you can't sit up and graduate high school and want to go straight to law school i mean graduate high school and want to go straight into the courtroom and represent people without going to law school you got to learn the fucking rules of the road right exactly and it's the same thing with spiritual with African spirituality and with pagan practices or whatever you want to call it. I call it African spirituality because I'm a proud African. Pan African has said that. But you will notice and, and one highly key high effective um highly effective tool that you can use. And you don't have to if you don't want to, but it damn sure worked for me is journaling. Because once you read you write down your feelings and your progress and your growth 
and you keep that shit hidden away because it ain't nobody's goddamn business what you write. And then you go back and read that shit a year later, you will see the measured growth of your shadow work. Don't believe me? I promise you, if you don't listen to nothing else I say, you got to put in the work for self-love and shadow work so that your spirituality can go on a whole new level. You will have a completely different lens that you look at the world through. Once you uncover and realize that a lot of the shit that's inside you, a lot of that pain that you might be carrying, either you don't even, a lot of times you don't even know you're carrying it, and 90% and of the time that shit was put there by somebody other than you. And it needs to be plucked the fuck out. And it needs to be addressed and that wound needs to be closed so that you can feel lighter and you can heal and then you can boss up and progress on your journey. Self-love is a journey. Shadow work is a journey. It's not an arrival point. It is not an arrival point. It is not an arrival point and I get so fucking sick and tired of these dumb ass, ignorant ass, slow boat ass, dumb ass witch bitches that's in these YouTube streets or in what is it fucking TikTok, wherever the fuck they be. And they sit up and they paint a picture that African spirituality is nothing but love and light. That they don't, they don't, they don't ever talk about doing self-love work and they never talk about um, doing shadow work. All they talk about is the gimme, gimme, give, give, popcorn witch type of shit. And you have people, a whole army of motherfuckers out here, a whole populace of people thinking that's all you got to do. So that when you come in and talking about addressing past trauma, you know, um, you know, addressing your jealousy issues that you have with your sister witches, why the fuck are you jealous? Why? Because you have unresolved shit that you need to deal with. You know, you, you understand what I mean? Why you're sitting up here doing love work to get that woman's husband. Why? Because you have unresolved shit. You need to deal with self-esteem issues type shit. They don't want to hear that though. They only want to hear the gimme, gimme now, now popcorn shit. And I'm not one of them witch bitches. So if you're following me and you want me and you're sending me emails and you're pissed off that I don't respond to your goddamn emails in five minutes because you want a love spell to, and some obsession work to get your boss to fall in love with you so you don't have to work anymore because he makes a lot of money and you want to be a kept ass sugar baby you can kiss my whole ass I'm not doing that shit what you need to do is get some self esteem and that's what I'm going to tell you if I respond to that stupid ass shit I'm not one of them people that's in this lane to get money and I know y'all have heard me say that a hundred times, but money don't move me and it don't drive me because I know how to manifest that shit on my own and I don't need to dig in your pockets to do it. And there's a lot of people out here who are practitioners that try their best to try to make it seem like that they're real and that they're um, genuine practitioners. But the number one test that I can tell is if they're moved and motivated only by money. That's when I know your ass is a fucking fake and I'll call you that shit to your face and I want some of you fake ass witch hoes to tap in on one of my lives. I would love to have a debate with you about ethics and hoodoo. I have called for it for damn near a year. Ain't nobody tapped in. It's a simple conversation. I'll be as respectful as possible. You can be respectful. But you need if you're going to be in a position and you got people's ear and you're teaching them, you need to let them know that self-growth is one of the cornerstones of how we practice. Yeah, my whole life they told me I was ugly. I mean, I'm, I think I'm, I'm kind of cute, but it's the way I carried myself because I believed that I ate that shit. And here's another thing before I go. When someone try to feed you a, a spoonful of bullshit, you slap that shit out their hand. You don't give anybody the keys to your self-esteem and I know that's easier said than done because I was a kid and I didn't know. I was only listening to the adults around me and the peers. I let them rent rooms in my head. But I need you guys to know that when you have children around you or young people around you, Frederick Douglass said it best. It is easier to build up a child than to repair broken adults. I, I know he didn't say it just like that. I think he said it's easier to repair a child than to, I mean, to build up a child than to repair broken men. But I'm going to say adults, men and women. 
sometimes all it takes is a kind word and a smile and walking up to a kid and telling them that they're cute and pretty so you can plant that seed of self-love inside them no matter their age teenagers little kids whatever because we already have a society that esteems the caucasian phenotype over african phenotype so when you have that little girl with the dark skin and the beautiful nappy hair and the wide nose and the big lips, she has a whole system that's telling her she's ugly. So maybe you need to whisper in their ear that she's not. You know? That won't cost you a fucking dime. I am the African witch bitch. Um, if this video has offended you, and you're one of them uh, shady ass witch hoes who think it's fantastic to scam people, to teach people uh, that all they have to do is uh, practice recklessly and you wanna charge them and, and you you know put out your information so that they can pay you so that you can do work for them. How about you tap in on my next slide so we can have a conversation. We can just have an ethical debate. I'm not saying it's wrong to charge people. I, I don't have a problem with that, but it's the way you do it. And if you're out here selling witch pipe dreams to people that you can make this, that, and the third happen for them, and you're not teaching them how to manifest on their own, you want them to use you as the crutch forever so you can pocket financially, we might have to have a discussion about that. And, and, and again, I'm not here to judge anybody, but I am here to teach. And if you're going to listen to me, I'm going to teach you the way I was taught. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit, and I'm not going to hold your fucking hand and create an army of lazy ass witch hoes who want to sit on their ass and wave a magic wand and think they can abracadabra some shit without getting elbows deep in the work and learning and, and uncovering stuff about you. You walk in with me, you're going to walk in your own path because your ancestors suffered not for you to walk around on this earth, for you to hate who you are and to be miserable, thinking that you ain't shit because some other dumb motherfucker told you that shit, okay? Because of their fucked up ass trauma. They told you you was an ugly piece of shit and now you're eating it and believing it and now you're walking around here effect, infected and affected by that negative ass toxic bullshit. Honey, it's time to get a damn a scalpel and we're going to dig deep and we're going to flick that shit, cut that shit out and flick it into the fire. That, that wound is going to heal and then you're going to walk on so that you can help the next person heal. And that is why I'm here. That is why my heart beat in these witchy streets. I am the African Witch Bitch. You guys have a great day. And if you have any questions, please hit me up. If you're in the, merchants, in the markets to purchase low-cost hoodoo supplies, hit me up on my website. Ashe.